This is how I think, like a farmer sees a plot of land and wants to cultivate it. I see a wall, I wanna go and paint it. I moved to San Francisco in 96. I was working as bus boys, bike messengers, door guy at the bar. I was not put on this earth to, to do that kind of work. But it was so hard to break out of, you know, just having a job and doing what I wanted and making a living at it. Until I got a job working at a commercial art company. And that's kind of like my second education after going to the study school of art at Indiana University. But, uh, I was going around doing a lot of uh, sign painting and commercial art and this kind of stuff. And uh, on the side doing my own artwork, you know, and they just both started to kind of merge. And in 2004, I got commissioned to do a mural at the San Francisco Bay Guardian. And so, boom, now I'm a muralist, you know. I just was always a kind of painter that liked using my arm, painting like this, more than kind of this guy who like was in a studio doing these detailed paintings like that. And that's just how I express myself better. I think it just naturally came about that I started painting bigger and bigger paintings. A lot of the big challenges early on are just mental. Like there's nothing telling you you can do it besides yourself. So how do you get that belief in yourself? You just have to be willing to fail and be willing to put yourself out there. You know, the first time I ever showed art, it's so scary. It's like feeling naked and exposed and the only way to deal with it is just to go through it. Jump out of that nest and just start flapping. Just start flapping your wings and try to stay above the ground. You know, and uh, sometimes you hit the ground and sometimes you, you know. I'm living my dream, being an artist, living in San Francisco. It's like growing up as a kid in Indiana, I would be like, whoa, that's amazing.